two, and I call the member for Goldstein. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And Deputy Speaker, I'd like to pick up where I finished on my earlier remarks on the previous piece of legislation, because what we just heard from the member for Kingsford Smith was once again a diatribe of allegations, a diatribe of justification about the case why industry super funds in particular should be able to squander, take possession and control of Australians' retirement savings. And I note that with some of the other members opposite, they chose to interject. In fact, one of them got outraged because I dared point out a point of order, one that they regularly make themselves, which shows the hypocrisy that's at the heart of the Australian Labor Party and its agenda. Because there is nothing, none, zero concern they have for Australians and Australian workers. I make the remark because we often observe in this place that it's a choice for the Labor Party about what they stand up for. And we all remember, if you were here in the chamber in the last parliament, when you saw the member, the then leader of the opposition, stand at the dispatch box right opposite where I'm standing now. And I remember when he got up at that dispatch box and he sold out Australian workers. Worse than that, he justified it every step of the way. You work in retail, that's fine. Your income, your benefits are there to be sold and traded away for the interests of power accumulation within the Australian Labor Party, because that is the foundation of the Australian Labor Party. It is one giant corrupt patronage network. And the foundations in which Member for Goldstone will pause. Member for Morton. Point Reflection of order. on the members here. I'd ask him to withdraw that comment, Deputy Speaker. Member for Goldstone. For the sake of the benefit of the member, I will withdraw. But well, it, I you. was reflecting on the sentiments of the Australian Labor Party, not on an individual member. And I think I have every right to reflect on the sentiment of the Australian Labor Party and their motivating force. Because when it comes down to it, the Australian Labor Party has a long term history of selling out Australian workers and selling out their retirement security. And to have the former member stand at the dispatch box just there and dare while he went around the country claiming to people everywhere that there was a justification for their giant $387 billion worth of taxes and their million people retiree savings hit is a despicable act. And I can say that as the chair of the Economics Committee leading the inquiry that actually raised these issues, which they did not want to hear, those on the opposition benches who kept saying that the only people who were going to be hit were those well off, while well, we had families, we had elderly people, people with a disability coming before the committee and telling their stories about how Labor would destroy their lives. And their response was to scoff with disinterest and to call out as a lie. Some of us will never sit by and watch the conduct that they engaged in. And for him to stand up, the member for Kingsley Smith, to go to that dispatch box and to dismiss it all when he was the front face and actually rationalise that to the Australian people was a despicable act then and it's a despicable act now. Now, this legislation is designed to stop Australian workers being ripped off. Now, you'd think the members of the opposition would support it if they had any integrity, if they had any credibility, they'd support it unamended. But like every other piece of legislation, we go through the journey of them using it for a political windfall or benefit in the hope that they can claim relevance or to obstruct or create hurdles to its implementation. Now, the purpose of members on this side is actually to stand up for Australians. Because we're the only side of politics today that backs people who stand on their own two feet. We want people to work. We want people to be able to be successful. We want people to be able to provide the nucleus of a family and a community and a home 
as the foundation for a great country. That's what we stand for. And what we despise is the hypocrisy of those who claim that mantle for themselves but only to enrich their own power base. And I know members don't like to be told and have it exposed, but it's the truth. And you look at how fast they will race to defend the interests, the collective interests and corporate interests of industry super funds in the way they won't do for workers when they sell out their interests through industrial awards or to oblige people and remove their choice, their freedom and their opportunity by compelling it to go into the control of the people who put them in this place. The modern Labor Party is not a Labor Party that reflects the interests of workers. The modern Labor Party is founded today to protect the interests of the accumulation of capital, capital that gives them control, particularly over industry superannuation funds. And they scoff because they know that when it's exposed, it becomes nakedly obvious to the Australian people that their motivation is not pure. It is not somehow to advance the collective interests. It is a great reminder of the chapter in The Road to Serfdom by Friedrich von Hayek. It is a reflection of why the worst people get to the top. And this is the spirit that sits behind their constant opposition for sensible, pragmatic reform so that money that Australians earn, that they put in their superannuation account, sits in their hip pocket at retirement and isn't rated by fees by unnecessary insurance and isn't sold out to their industrial arrangements to advance the interests of the modern Australian Labor Party. And that's why we stand up on this chamber for this legislation. That's why we stand up, because it reflects the type of country that we want to be, one where we encourage people to stand on their own two feet, to be able to save and sacrifice for their own retirement security so that they can take care of themselves. And I can't think of a better emblem and ideal of the, the foundation of a country and a successful country than that. Because when you can't take care of yourself, then you ultimately fall onto the shoulders of others and deny the opportunity that you can turn around to others and help them too. That's the foundation of what we believe in this side of this chamber, Deputy Speaker. You know it and I know it. The problem is the sentiment is not shared on the other side of this chamber. And of course, we've also had the shadow minister and the former member and the member for Kingston Smith go to that dispatch box in this debate and lecture people on this side of the chamber about straw man arguments about the costs of the policies that they rapaciously advance. Because in the end, they don't care about workers' interests. They don't care about workers' savings. In fact, the very policies that they will go and die in a ditch for that accumulate the wealth and control of the hands of their friends, the RBA, the Treasury, the Grattan Institute and so many other groups says lowers the incomes of Australians today. And they scoff at that proposition because of the economic illiteracy and disinterest of the workers who they claim to represent. Well, uh, I, I, the, the member for Morton claims that disinterest means impartial. I, that, I would accept that as the basis of, uh, of the greatest contribution that many members of the opposite have ever shown towards the Australian worker. But it's not just impartiality. It's not just disinterest. At times it's hostility to their interests because it undermines their own. And that's why we stand tall and proud for this legislation. This is why we stand for closing loopholes that will actually advance the interests of Australian retirees. That's why we stand in this place against their retiree tax, which they wanted to use a vehicle to undermine the retirement security of a million Australians. That's why we stand tall and proud for making sure that people are in the best position 
to save and sacrifice for themselves, because they, every Australian, can be part of the great foundations of this country. And the only thing the modern Australian Labor Party does is look to workers and say that they want them to be the greatest foundation for themselves. Thank you, Deputy Speaker.